So with all of that in there, then the last thing you need is to go to Costco and get a container of nut mix, eat all the nut mix, and then this fits perfectly into there. When I'm making my filters, I start with a full paper towel roll and mark it into five even pieces. Put a couple of marks uh, around the edge and, and then use a strip of paper to connect that so I can wrap it all the way around and make a line that goes all the way around the paper towel roll. I can use that line for cutting. I should try an electric knife and see if that cuts more smoothly than this big knife. So I've got that lined out and I'm going to slice that. This is a half year's worth so it's not like I have to do this anytime again soon. So hopefully I'll remember when it comes time to do another one. Then I'll try the electric knife and see how it does. Okay. Yeah, and then get rid of the, the dusty cut bits because you don't want those going into the oil. So just dust it off completely. Okay, so cut them all up and get nice pieces. This is where a bandsaw with a, th with a smooth blade would be perfect. Anyway, that's all I do. Just hack it up. So with all this filter stuff, besides using it in the filters for the recirculating, I also use it to filter the other oil when I drain it out uh, so that it goes in clean to begin with when I refill the filter uh, pump system. I just have a quart container and I cut one small hole in the bottom and then a lid to something, I don't even know what put some notches in the bottom of that so that it doesn't seal on there and then cut out a bunch of the top because this is a bigger lid and that just sits on the bottom and that just keeps this filter material from being pushed all the way to the bottom it just gives a little bit of a space so then I just roll this up uh, in a tight roll that fits inside there and that's no different from the other ones except for that's not rolled around or that is rolled around something where this is just rolled up from nothing and so it's a little bit tougher to get it started because you gotta keep it very very tight if i had some kind of core it'd probably help but i just kind of rolling it between my fingers so that it stays snug Till it's big enough to roll around itself easier. So I'll just roll that up and once it gets started it, it's pretty quick. And I try to keep it fairly even. Just keeping it a lot of pressure so that it stays very uh, very packed, tightly packed because I don't want it to be loose in there. And I'll check back in when it's just about big enough. Oh, just kept rolling it up till I get the size. I want it a little bit bigger than the bottom so that when I push it down to this level it's crammed in pretty snug at the top edge of that. So if I put it into here it should just touch at this level up here and since you can cram it in there you can go a little bit extra a few extra wraps make sure that it's going to be snug when it gets in there okay and you can always take some off if it's too big and just put a rubber band around it to to hold it all right and then that little spacer piece just down in the bottom. And push this in there. And okay. 
and then it's pushed in till it hit that uh, little cap and it's actually pushing down a little bit and then it's that's the filter except one more piece a little disc at the top to catch any of the bigger particles So I can cut that out just a little bit smaller than that because that's the top but I want it to fit down to there and it works best to stack a bunch of these together staple it around the edge and then that holds it while you cut it and then you can get multiple layers at one time that all come out pretty much the same so I'm gonna cut that away first and then cut a little bit to the inside of the line. Okay. So I'll just try one of those. Trying to get it kind of even. There we go. So that's the whole filter. So with all of that in there, then the last thing you need is to go to Costco and get a container of nut mix, eat all the nut mix, and then this fits perfectly into there to catch the oil after it's drained through. Uh, so that's how we do it. And we just leave one of these under each of the filters. So then when it's time to drain it, the filters we can just open the valve and it'll just drain right through make sure that it's clean and ready to go back in as soon as the filters have been changed so i've got the two filters right here and then the drain valves and below that i have the yogurt containers with the filter material in it and then below that the old Costco snack containers which I ate all the snacks out of and then below that I have a aluminum pan to catch anything that might overflow or spill or whatever could go wrong will go wrong with me so got it for sure for sure all right so that's how I use them and then this one I also have a little, little zip tie thing here just to make sure that it um, doesn't seal because the original one, I'd cut a small hole in the uh, container and then I'd just have a piece of tape over it to keep from splashing, but it's not airtight. But that way it will continue to drain. But yeah, I kind of like this one better because uh, it sits a little higher. The, the hole is slightly smaller on that container. So at some point I'll have to eat another container of whatever that snack was. Okay, so that's it.